face some form of disability. For centuries, disabilities have been viewed by our culture as a barrier to a productive and fulfilling life. Well, not for long. As technology advances, we are able to enhance what we as individuals can achieve. Glasses, for example, which helped extend the career lifespan by decades, increased the total uh, time that someone can read without having to stop. This, along with other technologies like the wheelchair and hearing aids, have revolutionized the way that the physically limited interact with society. The next step in the evolution of assisting devices would provide the ability to overcome disabilities once and for all through technology. Hi, I'm Arif and today I'm here to talk about a technology that will enable us to do this. A technology known as a BCI or Brain Computer Interface. To understand how a brain computer interface functions, we first must understand how the brain itself works. The brain functions on electrical signals. These electrical signals are carried by our brain cells known as neurons. Your nervous system uses these specialized brain cells to send signals or messages throughout the body. There are 86 billion neurons in the brain. Now before we continue, I would like to highlight on something I said previously. The brain functions on electrical signals. Yes, electricity. The phenomenon that powers our electronics, appliances, and possibly even the future of our transportation is also what helps us function. Now I presume all of you have used a multimeter during some point in your life. A multimeter is a device which measures the different aspects and traits of electricity. By measuring the electrical impulses in the brain and referencing these impulses with their location, we can determine a person's thought. This has innumerable uses in daily life. Here are a few. We can use this technology to control prosthetic limbs, send auditory data to the mind of a deaf person, send visual data to the mind of someone who can't see, and even take data from the brain and allow a computer to speak for a person. As of now, BCIs are classified into three different categories. These categories are invasive, non-invasive, and semi-invasive BCI. Invasive BCIs are implanted directly into the brain, while non-invasive BCIs are attached to the skin. Semi-invasive BCIs, however, are placed under the cranium or skull. Some examples of this technology are from companies such as Neurable and Neuralink. Neuralink has been working on a device which is placed on the tip of the skull and has thousands of electrodes protruding from beneath it. This device then has systematically placed electrodes which can use the electrical impulses of the brain to send signals or messages to different machines which can then be controlled. Neurable, on the other hand, has created a more user-friendly approach to this problem. They have created a device in the form of headphones. These headphones have special EEG or electroencephalogram sensitive materials in the ear cups. These ear cups then detect these signals and send them to external devices. The human race is reaching its next revolution in science and technology. This technology will open many doors for many people around the globe. However, there will always be those who will hinder the growth of this technology. It is because new technology results in a new fashion in how things are done and people who are comfortable with how things work presently, therefore, don't like new ideas entering the world. The best way to show our support for this technology is to vote a pro-experimentation candidate into office. This will allow the technology to mature properly and perhaps even accelerate the process. I thank you for joining me here today and hope to see how you impact the DCI journey with the creativity of your mind. Thank you.